Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be reacting to Funko Pop Collections Part 3. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing Part 3. This is super exciting because you guys loved Part 2. So I have, I think it's 23 of your guys' collections, and we're going to be reacting to them today, showing them off to you guys, and then you guys also send in like some fun facts or even just stuff about your collections, so we're also going to be reading that as well. So I guess we'll just get into this, but before we do, if you guys want to send in your own collections, maybe make a cool like display with them or something like that, send it in to toppopsvids at gmail.com. It's actually right there if you guys want to send it in. Don't send it to my business email because then it gets mixed in with yeah, everything yeah, else we, and it's we, tough to find it. Yeah, we won't find um, it. But yeah, so guys, use this email right here. That'd be great. But anyways, let's get into the first collection. All right, guys, so this one is coming in from Grant. You guys might know him as Haha ha Collectibles on Instagram, but it, this is what he said. This is the biggest signed Overwatch collection in the world. This is actually really crazy. I've seen his collection before. I actually follow him on Instagram, and he has, I believe those are, um, what are those called? Display Geeks, and he puts them up there, and there's mm -hmm. pretty much every single signed Funko Pop there. So what he does is he gets the voice actors and actresses to sign the figures, and I think this is amazing. He's a huge Overwatch fan, mm -hmm. and there are so many different characters here. Now, you, I know you don't play Overwatch. I do not, but I'd like to say this. Um, number one, we met him in Everett, and he was very nice. Yes, very I actually kind. have a sticker with him and I on it. Yeah, some stickers to us. And number two, I'm not a fan, here, disclose here, I'm not a fan of people signing the front of the boxes. I don't like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I was just going to say, I really like his because I like how he's used the different colors, yes. and it matches. Whichever the, the color of the character is. So say, for yeah. example, let me see if I can find one here that makes sense. Yeah. Sombra, she is the Emerald City Comic Con green one. He got her to sign it in green. I yeah. think that looks really they great. They look beautiful on his shelf, for real. Uh, but yeah, anyways, Grant, really great collection. Thanks for sharing. Yes. All right, so this next one comes in from Keegan. Hey, Tristan, my name is Keegan, and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Awesome. Neat. First of all, I'm a big fan. I look forward to watching your videos every day. I love the pop hunts and your collection videos. Thanks for doing what you do. Here's a picture of my collection. I mostly collect Batman exclusives Ooh. and ad icons. Those are my alley. some other little things that I love sprinkled in there. Also love the soda figures. Okay, so I did take a look at this one earlier, and I really do like the way he displayed these. I think mm -hmm. he used very similar shelves to what I have yes, in agreed. the room. Um, these might even be from Canadian Tire. I don't know, because you can do the shelves at different heights. And he's Canadian, so... so. I, I know, I do really like that, too, because that's really cool, because they could be pretty much the exact same shelves. I'm a huge fan of the way he displayed the soda figures as well, because he shows the cans as well as the figures. For mm -hmm. me, I'm just showing the figures at the moment, because I don't really have a way to do both. Um, so I think that looks really, really well done, the way you did it. And I like how he has all of the black box ones together. Those the Batman. Ones? Inspiration, perhaps. I mean, yeah. here's the thing, though. If you're gonna get the 80th anniversary ones, you you're gonna want to put be them together, together. Yeah. Um, because they are the different colored boxes. So it really does look nice and uniform when you oh, put them all that? together. Is that a Batman all in white? That is the that North one? Pole Batman, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, do you have that one? It is. No, but I have Professor Radium Batman. That's the one that you guys got me for Christmas a couple years ago with only right. one arm. Do you remember What's that one? What's the one we found at Target and it was in the candy section and people said we planted it there, oh. but we did it. That was a zebra one or something. Uh, or something. I don't think it was zebra Batman. It might have been North Pole Batman. I now that you say it. Hmm. It was one of the ones that was a Target exclusive, and mm -hmm. for some reason, yeah. someone had just dropped it off in the, in the candy, candy section. section. And we really did find oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I there. forgot about yeah, that. That's cool. Very nice collection. Yes. Anyways, thank really you. great. Thanks for sending that in. All right, guys, this next one's coming in from Andrew, and it says, Hey, Top Pops, I love watching your videos. I just started collecting about six months ago. My collection has 94 pops, and I hope to keep expanding it. Thank you for looking at my collection, Andrew. Now, Andrew, you have a really great collection here. I notice a lot, a lot of, like, horror figures as well. Um, I don't see too many... I mean, of course, there are lots of collections like that, but I don't have too many horror figures, so I think this is really great um, that you put them all together like this. And a lot of music, I see, as well. Yes, right? a lot all of rocks. I think ones. you have all of the Notorious B.I.G. ones, except for maybe the... Cr the metallic one, but I can see the original one there on the left, so that is really awesome. Um, we also have all the Tupac ones and Ice Cube, and I think there's also some other photos as well. Oh, yes, neat. nice shot. Here is a Disney collection, which I really like. I like the way you displayed all of your bigger ones together, um, especially the Haunted Mansion ones there. Do and you have that big ghost one? I like him. I do. It's around here somewhere. I really like that one. I do. I for the sure do own that ghost. one. Oh, yeah. he's right here. Yeah, Ezra's yeah. right here. I know you guys can't see him, um, but I do own that huge Ezra. I like that, yeah. And then I think he's got another photo as well. Yes, he's got the signed Fluffy Pop from Gabriel Iglesias. I actually ordered one of those, so that should be coming in soon nice. um, for my collection. But Double lots of the nine. Office ones. You see anything here that you like? I know there's a lot of the Office ones. Oh, you know what I like? 
are the the um, Funko ones for your zodiac sign. Yes. So he has the Sagittarius one. That's super cool. That means his birthday is like around December. I don't know, but I think yeah. that, yes, that is. Because yeah. I think I am a Cancer and I believe I have that figure. I think I bought that. I did. I think so, yeah. I bought it at a comic book store a while back. So it's really cool that when people can buy uh, their actual sign. And it was funny because mine was the first one. That one sold out right away. So it's really tough yeah, to get later tricky. on. Yeah, it's tricky. Like uh, sometimes you can't, you will see all of like Cancer or all of whatever, Aquarius, and you don't see all the different ones. So it's nice that he was yes. able to get the one that was probably for him. Yeah, right? this is a really great collection. Yeah, I'm a nice. big fan of all the horror ones for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, did he have the one, uh, the koala? Ozzy. Oh, you do. You have Ozzy. Nice. Okay, so that one's really cool. I'm yeah. a big fan of that one. That is now the fourth one in the line, which is really cool. So you must... Uh, oh, I also want to know, did you get the passport at all? Because that's really cool to put all the pins in the passport. Uh, yeah. But anyways, Neat. thank you so much for sending this in. Okay, our next one comes in from Brian. Hey, Tristan. Saw that you were doing another viewer collection video and thought I'd try submitting again. Cut it down to four picks this time so it wouldn't be too much to look at. LOL. Looking forward to the video, Brian. Thank you, Brian, for sending this in. Um, sorry we didn't put it in the first one. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this here and see what we got. So I did notice you have a Whoa. huge collection. It looks like you have most of the Stranger Things ones, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. I think you do. Um, wow, there's a lot of two packs over there on the left as well. Huge fan of the Pokemon ones up in the corner. Um, but yeah, a lot of the out-of-box pops as well. I actually am a huge fan of out-of-box pops. The only problem is, is if I have the box for the pop, I feel like I should keep it in the box. Double, um, so double if you space. get them over at, like Value Village or something like that, I think it's great to take them out. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you did get them there because there's a lot of really cool ones down there. I do see a lot of the Dragon Ball Z ones. Um, those ones might be some of your favorites. I'm not sure, but they do look really great. That's a box. neat desk. So he's kind of using the desk as like a... Um... Spit, uh, like almost like a shelf, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, which I think looks really yeah, great. There's a lot of the two packs over there. I can see the Lord of the Rings ones. Um, I haven't seen that one in a long time. Yeah, cool. um, this next one here is actually, speaking of Lord of the Rings, a lot of the Lord of the Rings figures, um, which look really great. A lot of cool exclusives. You even have the Chase Frodo. Um, and then a little bit Whoa. farther on, that's a lot, a lot of Dragon Ball Z ones here. It's hard to see them all. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, I see Majin Buu. We've got the Chalice Collectibles exclusive. Nice. Um, Batman Vegeta. The Chrome Vegeta looks really, really great. And then the last oh. one here, it looks like a lot of Marvel as well as Power Rangers. You guys can see here, he has a huge collection with just a lot of really great figures. And a lot stacked up. Wow, we that's almost yeah. like what's gonna happen when he gets to the top. Yeah, I know, Brian, let us know. Has this thing, I don't, I don't want it to, but has it ever fallen? I've seen a lot of people with huge collections that do fall sometimes. And I've actually had some troubles with that when I used to stack them up, so. Does he have men protectors? That's my question. I hope so. I, I some of them so. have a glare on them, the so I feel like they would. The glare makes me feel like this section does. I think they do. It looks okay. like Game of Thrones ones yeah, too. Anyways, cool. really great collection. Yeah, thanks for sharing. This next one here is coming in from Nolan, and he says, Hey Tristan, I hope you're doing well. I've been watching your channel since I started collecting Funko back in 2017. I currently have 400 Funko Pops plus some minis, dorbs, ornaments, and etc. I have branched out into collecting other figures too, like NECA and SH Figure Arts, which is really awesome. I don't have any of those personally, but they do look really great. Um, but Funko is what got me started. I'm glad to see you still collecting and posting content. Thank you. Uh, the photos attached are sections of my collection. The first two pictures are of my IT collection, but the difference is I flipped the signed pops around so you you can see the signature slash photos. This is my favorite and most collected section I have at the moment. The others are photos of my horror and animation collection. I hope you enjoy my photos and I look forward to more of your content. Thanks, Nolan. Nolan, thank you so much for sending these in. But yes, I wanted to put this one on this list because of how cool his Pennywise section was, or it in general, mm. um, because he has pretty much every it Funko Pop, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Look at, I even and look at, he's ones. got those. He's got those, are those fabrications? No, those top. are the ones, I think they are. They're either the Funko ones or they're the ones made by NECA. I'm not too sure. Right. He's got a look lot of them one. though. Cause look, he's got some there as well. Oh yeah. Look. No, okay, so no, that one on the left there next to his uh, photos with his signed figures, those are the ones made by NECA. Okay. The ones at the top there are the one made by um, Funko. Funko. They you look can tell really by the eyes, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and I love how he's taken the characters out of the boxes and layered them like the tall ones and it's beautiful. Yes, it's yes. It's beautiful. Especially when you, don't, when you don't have risers and stuff like that, it's a really great way to do it because you can put some yeah. of your like five inch figures in the back and then I some of your it. figures even on top of the boxes and stuff like that. I think that looks really, really great. It might be a tricky to dust. I'm just I, gonna yeah, put that I, I, I used to have that problem no, as well when they were out of the box. Dust. Oh, right. Yeah, I, well, there was that as well. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I can also see a lot of his My Hero figures. There's some really great ones. I see Tenya yeah. hiding in the back there. That one's pretty expensive now. I think that one was like $200 for a little while. So would you call him an out of box collector? I would. Um, yes, I would say. So, I mean, all of the, them are out of box, even yeah. though you probably keep the boxes it is nice to display them out of the boxes sometimes but yeah this collection looks really really great and i'm a huge fan of the it section okay this next one's coming in from brandon says, hey, Top Pops, here's my Funko collection of over a thousand Pops plus some Dorbs, wow. among other figures and collectibles. I keep all the boxes flattened. Whoa. 
but Ooh, open everything for display. Also, Funko cereal boxes I've turned into little art posters oh, and nice. frame them on the wall. My collection originally started with only the release of the Glow in the Dark Hot Topic Lumiere. That's <gasps> a great pop. And is now turned into this. Take care and all the best, Brandon. Brandon. Now, I have one question for you before we start to show oh, the collection. Oh, and he says, P.S. I sent a box in the mail last week from Toronto. I hope you enjoy oh, it. Did wow. you get it? I haven't yet, so it should be coming in soon, soon. I hope. So okay. anyways, thank you so much. But I have okay. one question for you before we show off your collection. Yes, yes, yes. Do you keep the inserts to the boxes after you flatten them? Because that would be tough to keep them in two separate spots and maybe even have to like find them. Anyways. And how do you know which inserts? That's what I'm saying. Like that happened with me. You could number me. them. You could do it. Yeah. If that happened with me and like my Star Wars bases. I took them all off their bases to display them to make them look the same. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't figure out which bases are which. So there are still a lot of my pops that are in box mm -hmm. without bases. Yeah. And I have a box of Star Wars bases. bases yeah. uh, but one thing I do want to mention is that some of these uh, photos here, it shows like almost <gasps> your entire basement is your collection. I think that's amazing. I also just noticed that you have Top Pops on the TV there. So thank you so much for watching. Super cool. I'm in love with the shelves. I'm in love with these little narrow shelves on the wall that hold oh, the yeah. pops. Like, even just looking into this, guys, there are so many different figures here. Like, if you uh, zoom in a little bit, I see, like, the uh, Trix Rabbit there, the 10... And it looks like 10 inches also fit on here, so if you yeah, want to display a great shelf. Yeah, I thought the shelf was narrow, but yeah. it's actually f pretty wide. It looks like believe. it's enough that you could probably do two pops back, and so six inches And those must be custom well. shelves. Like, that's... He yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen those before. Something like that, anyways. Yeah, that's a cool... But yeah, here's even cool, more of the hallway, guys. Basement. He said it was the basement, right? I believe so. Yeah, I'm guessing it's the basement, He said that, though, too. Oh, and then different backgrounds. I do like the box. I really like like but dusting again is, I know. is a question I have. It's tough. <gasps> They're Ooh. beautiful. I also see the Golden Girls one. You can see what the Funko cereal looks like. That is See, really he well said done. he made little art with it. That's, yes. That's a good idea for I really those like boxes. That. Because you know what? I don't think you can store the cereal forever. Not really. Right? Like, I mean, you could probably keep it for a while. And if you are like a cereal collector, you might want to keep it in box. But the cereal isn't even going to be good after a couple years. So you yeah. might, you're really just collecting it for the box art. And so the this is a really prize. great way to do it. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways, really, really well done. Okay, guys, so this next one is coming in from David and he says hi fan of your video here I have attached a picture of my collection taken a couple weeks ago uh, it was a year since I started collecting feel free to use it in your video if you find it convenient thanks and hope you have a good day best wishes David David thank you so much for sending this in now this is a very colorful collection I really do like the way you mm -hmm. did this as well because yeah. you match the <gasps> backs oh of the boxes almost in like a it looks kind of like a rainbow in a way it is it a rainbow it's 100% a rainbow well it kind of goes from like Look. purple to blue to lighter blue to a greenish color then orange then red and I think that looks really I've great. I've never seen anyone do that before. No. I think that looks really, really well I done. I love it. You guys can also see it's mostly Disney stuff, which I think is really awesome. I love the Disney figures. They put so much detail into those ones. Um, so yeah, I think this collection looks amazing. So also, so not only did he do the rainbow with the boxes, but the the characters themselves are very colorful. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like they make it a more interesting display. Like they're not horror ones or all like, you know, dark. Darker and yeah, they yeah, do yeah. like kind of like black boxes and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. when it comes to the Disney ones, I remember for like the first like maybe three or four or five series, they did it so each one had a different colored box. So you guys can see like, I think he's got some up here where it would be like uh, if you guys can see almost like the uh, Maleficent dragon the ones to the right of that are all part of the same series even though they're different characters so they did like Mickey Mouse and Minnie and Goofy and all and they, those ones oh, had different box like, they were smart. different series but the same colored box I like that yeah that was really neat I and I love that. the seven dwarfs he's got all those up there with uh, Snow White look oh yeah they look really great as well really you cute. also have the new one I think it's Zeus if I'm not mistaken mm. um, from Hercules that one looks really great as well that was brand new and then you got like um look here lion king he has a row of the little mermaid so many great love it here. yeah really nice yes done. i really like the way this is done anyways david mm -hmm. thank you so much for sending this in okay our next one comes in from colton hey my name is colton and my fiance giovanna and i just moved to arizona and are slowly putting up our funko collection back up but this is a little so far wow enjoy and looking forward to seeing these collections on your youtube now, okay. Colton, this one I thought was amazing. Now, this is something that I don't see people do very often, but I really like the way uh, he did it. So it's almost like he's using props from the films uh, to almost enhance his collection. Now, of course, people do this, but the way he's done it is he's really taken it to a new level here. I agree. Especially the Indiana Jones section, Agreed. I will say that. I do have the uh, metallic one coming in soon. It's stuck at the post office. It's one of those ones yes. there. Now, what I is this in the middle? Like a tiki the or something? The golden some... monkey idol? What's that It's from? the golden idol. It's from the... Are you... No, really? No. This is like the main thing from okay, the movie. Okay, but I'm saying, is that a pop? No. No, it's not a pop. That is probably. I don't know where you would have would, even got that kind of thing. Okay, FYI, would make a good pop though. 
Oh, I agree. Well, they have it in the 10 inch figure. It's actually him holding it. Yeah. So they have small versions of it. It would be cool if they made a full version okay, of it. Okay, that's amazing. But I also love the oh. op is amazing. Well, now that the, the jar. Uh, now that the house is out, it looks really great. And it says Paradise Falls. In that book. The Our Adventure book. I remember they did sell that. I believe it was in Disney or something like that. I think like I saw that. the book at the Disney store. Yeah. Okay, but then the Pixar is Pixar ridiculous. looks great. That's every single Toy Story pop-up. I think. I think. So he's just gone out and bought those letters, like at one of those Of course, yeah. Stores, and I think it might even be the same And then font. added this lamp. What is Now, that might even be so... a licensed Pixar lamp. Anyways, uh, yeah. let us know if it is, because that looks really great and very close to the it's, actual Pixar lamp. It's crazy. Um, yeah, and then the last one down here. The last two, we've got all the Cars ones with a lot of other Pixar movies. And then we have the Back to the Future set. And it comes, or he's got the hoverboard and i want to talk about the risers in this part with the with the cars oh yeah like where did he get those and he made i don't those? know i would love that I for love my that. pez actually mm, that would look really I great re the colors it's beautiful yes i like how the colors are standing out more than the uh the actual like stands because sometimes when you do it with the pop boxes um if you're doing it intentionally where you're showing the colors it looks great but sometimes mm -hmm. when you put them like on the risers as yeah, like pop boxes it's not, it's, it i used to do away. that it yeah it away. does a uh, question which one's your favorite of the display Ooh. here I know, I know they, what you're going to say. I'm going to say Indiana Jones. I'm going to say Pixar. Okay, I'm a big fan of the Pixar one, um, but the thing is, though, I, I really, really like the way they did the Indiana Jones with the idol and the whip yeah, and no, the hat no, and just a lot going on and here. And the jacket. Is this a jacket? I think it is a jacket. Are wow. some of those props from the movie? Because they look know. really legit. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, cool. Thank Anderson. you so much for saying these. Yeah, out. thank you. We really yeah. like it. <laughs> All right, guys, this next one's coming in from Morgan, and she said, Hey, Tristan, my name is Morgan from Funko Pop Sisters on Instagram. Mm. I have 394 Funko Pops. My most valuable Funko Pop is the Carl and Ellie two-pack. I do own that one. I remember, sorry, I'm, I'm going off topic here, but a, a long time ago, that one was for like 40 bucks, and it shot up to like, I think 200, 210, maybe wow. it is, something like that. Um, but anyways, it's really crazy. And then she also said, I collect mostly Disney and some Marvel, as well as some TV shows like Stranger Things, The 100, Gotham, and Once Upon a Time. Thank you for all you that you do, and I enjoy your videos. So, let's check these out here. I think um, I follow the Funko Pop sisters on Instagram. I might as well. I, like I, I remember like that pictures. username. Anyways, I yeah. also kind of recognize this collection as well. I like the way you've done it because I think those are um, they kind of remind, remind me of the Billy bookcase at uh, Ikea. I don't know if it is, but it looks well, similar to I that. I like the bookcases. I like them. Yeah, they look really great. I also like that they've got like the, the nicer front to them as well. Like with mine here, they're like super thin. Boring. Uh, but this yeah, one has a lot of nice. like, it's a nicer kind of finish to it as well. And I like that some are out of box, right? So some are in box and then the ones on the top or out of box. Yeah, and I see a lot of great Marvel ones as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can also see the up ones look oh, really yeah. great. I want to yeah. see if I can find the uh, two pack. I think it's in there hidden with the other ones, perhaps? Could be a different... Picture. I don't know, but anyways, it's a really, really great collection. I also like the way you did the shelves as well. Okay, this next one comes in from Joseph. It says, Hi Top Pops. This is my current collection. Left case is DC and Star Wars. Middle is a variety of all types of pops. Right case is Marvel and Jurassic Park. Okay, so Thanks. cool. Let's check this out here, guys. So, wow, there's a lot of pops here. I also really like, I believe if I'm not mistaken, those are the Detoffs. Um, I believe that's what they're called from Ikea. They're the glass oh. cases. Oh. Um, I've seen a lot of people use those for larger mm -hmm. figures, but it I also looks Beard really great Pop for Hunter. Did he have those? I think he did. That's either Beard of Pop Hunter. Some I think kind. Jetta Patrol also has a bunch of those as well. Yeah, maybe um, Cletus. I don't know. A lot of people do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't have any personally just because I feel like I can fill up way more figures on this. Now, I know it sounds weird to say I just want to fill up my room, um, but I, I would like to display them that way. But I just don't have enough room to get a bunch of those ones. So it would look really nice. Yeah. Uh, I just don't have the space. But I also I like how it's a cube. So if you put them in, you can even see the sides of them. As well. Yeah, that's really great as well. I see a lot of people at conventions do those ones where they put them all the way around it or at least do the backs and fronts. Yeah, so you um, can and that looks really great. Them, yeah. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, was the brand new Joker Chase, um, which is really cool. That one there is, I think, like pretty expensive. It's been hard to find that one. It's still a one in six, but a lot of people have been snatching that one up because it is, some people are saying, the best Chase of 2020 mm -hmm. um, because I think it is really, really well done. So the middle, he said the middle were mixed up, pot, like different things. Yes. And then the, the sides were special. So Jurassic Park on the wall, on the right side, as well and as Marvel, Marvel and other stuff. And then on the left, it was DC, DC. as well as Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. Um, cool. But yeah, that's overall, nice. just a really, really great collection. All right, guys, this next one is coming in from Andrew. And he says, hello, Top Hops. Just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of yours all the way from Lebanon. Cool. Wow. I started collecting since May 2020. Not a big collection, but you got to start somewhere. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Drew. Now, thank you so much for sending this over, Drew, because there's some really cool ones. I also like how you put in the LED lights in there. As well, you mixed in the shoes with them, and I think that's really cool as well. Or you might have probably collected shoes before um, and then had the pops after. Right. Like, And look at those Coke, are those Coca-Cola bottles? They are. I, I saw these earlier, and I wasn't sure. Oh, so it's all the Avengers, it looks like. 
Oh, I wonder where they made those. I'd never seen those before. That's really neat. Really neat. And I like the out-of-box characters he has there. And then if you go down to you, look at the shelf is going... Oh, yeah, this you've got way. the shelf going vertical there Vertically, as well. That's yeah. really neat. And look, who is that? Ooh, okay, now that is a cause figure. Those are super expensive. That right there is the Pinocchio cause figure. Mm -hmm. You can also see the one on the le on the right side there. I don't know what they call it, but it's the one where he's cut down the middle, and you can almost see the anatomy of him in the middle exactly. of him, which I think is and really awesome. And then that awesome. cool Mickey Mouse. That's neat. Yeah, those are all really great. I think it looks amazing yeah, the way you did it. it's a great collection. It's just full of amazing stuff. Yeah, I love it. Okay, this one's coming in from Manny. Hey, Tristan, this is my Funko collection. I started collecting about a year ago. I'm already at 200 plus pops. Nice. I try to stick with Marvel, Dragon Ball Z, The Office, and My Hero Academia. I fell in love with collecting Funko. Then I started a Funko account on Instagram. I hope one day my collection could be as big as yours. Me and my wifey love watching your videos a lot. We love your content a lot. Thank you for doing amazing, fun videos. Well, thank you, Manny, for sending this in. And I really like the way you did this. Again, with the out-of-box pops here. We have been seeing a lot mm. of those today. And I yeah. think, I don't know, but I feel like ugh, some of you guys might hate me for this, but out-of-box is superior to in-box. Oh, absolutely. Way yes. more interesting to look at. Well, especially because then you can, like, quickly take them off and, you know, move them around. And I just noticed something as well. Do you see it? It's kind of like an eye spy here. I don't yeah. know if you saw it. Well. Let me zoom in on it. He's got the top pops pin. Ah, I just noticed I'm that so they're sitting jealous. in the front. I remember actually, you sent this one in, uh, or you put this up on your story, and uh, both I and the hat pin plug. Oh, put this was up. he holding yes, the pin? Yes, it was. He was yeah. holding it in front yeah, of us. It looked really, really, really great. Really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, this is an amazing collection. I really like these little clear shelves. Yes. They really I think those show are them off. Maybe supposed to be spice racks or something like that. I don't know I don't what they know. are, but they look really great. Um, but I also noticed all the chrome ones up at the top there. Um, a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Um, some of the six inch figures down there at the bottom. But yeah, overall, just a really, really and good I collection. And I think that's a theme of all of the rooms tonight, basically, is that we like the out of <laughs> Well, like, I was going through and combing through so many of them because you guys sent in so many great hundreds, collections. And hundreds. I guess, like, uh, unsubconsciously, I guess you could say. S no, just subconsciously. Subconsciously, yeah. I picked the ones out of box, I guess, more than they, the ones in box. I don't oh, know. No, it, they're very really appealing, great. let's just say that. Yes. And they, they, they pay tribute to the pop. Like, each pop is very detailed. There's lots going on. And, like and you said, leave it in the box, you don't get to see all those right. details. And like I said, though, like it's so much harder to say, if you guys want to check out Rita Skeeter here, you'd have to take it out of the box, take it out. It's sometimes yeah. annoying. But with this one here, you can just take it off the shelf really and quickly, look, at, look at, it. at it, and then put it right back. Right. Anyways, I think the out-of-box starting to look really good. Yes. I'm not going to be doing it. Pros and cons, of, pros and cons. Well, I'm not going to be doing it just because of how many figures I've got, but I would probably love to do it with some figures. Yeah, clearly we like it. <laughs> yes, and I think that's why I like soda figures so much. That could be Because you're it. leaving them out of the yes. soda can. Okay, next one's coming in from Carla. Hi, Tristan. This is my very small Funko collection. Me and my boyfriend love to watch your videos since he's a huge Funko collector. I try to keep my collection small, but it seems it's growing more and more all the time. I've recently decided to start collecting Harry Potter Funkos, so that'll be fun. Thank you for all the hard work you do to release content. I enjoy your videos a ton and wish you the best. Now, the reason I put this one on here was because I knew you were really going to like this one because of what they have on display, mm. and you'll just see it here. All of their soda cats are oh, on display. Oh, I love it. I thought that it. was really That's cool. That's a great shelf, too, for them. Yes, it's, it's And really room nice. to grow if they get any more. There's a little bit of room. Oh, now, I agree. Oh, oh, interesting. I know, I know. Those are the same shelves as the other one, as the other room. Those little clear shelves. Oh, you're right yeah okay mm. that's cool and that's all those bts ones yes now what well, i like about that two, as well is they put the four, bts six, ones with seven, the bt21 two, ones four. under it oh very because snappy. they each have a corresponding figure so i feel right. like they're just i don't know if they is this is what it is but they should be lined up with them above of each other i think it is and here's a good point like people might only want to send in their collection if they have like hundreds and hundreds because they think that's how they're going to maybe oh get yeah chosen. no no i think that it's more uh interesting just to see the way people display them especially with their creative ideas of like the, only the fun shelf and stuff ah, like that for sure mm -hmm. and that proves it right there right oh yeah very interesting. no it's a really really great collection great thanks for sharing it. thanks carla all right guys this next one is coming in from chad and i want to show this one off because he's actually on my discord but he has a really great collection and he said hey tristan it's me chadicus from your discord server here's a look at my collection which has over 200 pops in it i got my first pop harry potter back in 2017 and i've been slowly building up the collection since then some of my favorites include my marty mcfly on his hoverboard homer simpson the secret stash exclusive kevin smith my signed cameron fry and of course my brand new top ops pin number 79 of 100. i hope you like my collection as much as i do and tell noah and your mom i said hi well he says hi. Hi, hi um, um, but Chad. 
Yes. So Tatticus. let's look at this one right here. Tatticus. That's his username on That's Discord. That's a great name. That's funny. So this right here is really awesome because oh, there are yeah. so many cool figures here. Also, when I was looking at this one, I didn't know that they made a pop poster I like that. I was just about to say I that. Know. Where did that come from? I have no clue. But That's that... pretty cool. Yeah, Chad, if you know, oh, well, you know where you got it. So could, could let me know in the comment yeah, section below because I'd love to see if I could get one of those. That'd be really awesome. And that looks like one of those Lego sets, eh? With the, they're kind of like grown I believe that Lego. is. I have seen those. Those are the Lego architecture, if I'm not mistaken. Something I think like it's that. one of those yeah, ones. Cool. Um, now, not just looking at Pops here, I did notice he's got a Mr. Beast U2s in the middle there. That's really cool. Yeah, neat. Uh, I've been trying to get a little bit more U2s, and I've actually been looking at the Bob Ross ones as well as the Emoji ones. Um, you guys can see here, there's the Homer. And when he said Homer, he meant the original one, um, which is really crazy, as well as a signed one from uh, Cameron Fry. Who's that from? Is that from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I can't see it. I can't tell. My top Pops pin is covering mm -hmm. the thing. I can't, I can't. Anyways, it I just thought that was funny. It could be. I think it is. Uh, but anyways, Chad, really, really great collection. I love the way you display this as well by using other shelves you have in your home to kind of, you know, display your figures because you don't have to go out and buy crazy shelves. You can just use the ones you've got lying around the Sometimes house. Sometimes it's more interesting to have different things like the way he has those bins and stuff yes. like that. It's it's neat to see. Yeah, really great. Well done. We want to know about the poster though. Right? I would love to know about the poster. Okay, our next one's coming in from Eric. It says, hey, Tristan, this is Funko Pez Head from Instagram. Hope you enjoy seeing a little part of my collection. I told her I really wanted to check this one out. And I think you might know why from the username. Um, Funko oh, Pez head. That... So he's got Funko Pops and Pez put together, but not just Pop Pez. Look at this. Whoa. He's got. The, I, I don't know what these are. Ooh. These are like displays or like almost like, you know, those things that like slide left and right. Yeah. I don't know what you call those. Almost like a um, store. Yes. Somebody has made this. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it I looks like so. it is. Yes. But there's so many really crazy Pez here. I also noticed in the middle there the Pez cars. Um, which are really awesome. There's a couple different things that I noticed. He also has these over here on the right side. What are they are those? the home run Pez baseball ones. So what wow. it is, is I saw these because I've been doing a lot of research on Pez recently because I really haven't had anything to do because we're at home all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I did see was that they made some that was a baseball glove and some of them were baseball bats leaning up against them. Those are the three different versions of them mm -hmm. there. I don't know if the baseball is part of the Pez collection. And if you go back really cool. to this shelf, the farther one, those are some old Pez there, right? Oh yeah, the even on the left side Older ones here. are not as painted, they're not as No, colorful. I've noticed that the original Pez, they actually did it where they took almost like just different like plastics, casted Colors. those, and then put them together yeah. instead of doing the newer way where they make like one piece and, and then, then they, they paint, paint it over or it. whatever, yeah. Yeah, also wow. by the way, the Pops down by here look really great. Pops oh yeah, also yeah. I forgot about the Pops, but yeah, the Pops <laughs> look really great as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of those ones. I like the way you did them on the ground. They're kind of stacking up. It does look really great. You don't even need a shelf for your Pops. You no, totally just you stack don't. them up from the That's ground. right, you don't. Yeah, I think this whole thing just looks amazing. Thanks for sharing that. And yes. those Pez are crazy. Yeah, that trumps my collection oh tenfold. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay guys, this next one is coming in from Daniel and he says, Hi Tristan, hope you and your family are doing well during this tough time. I'm sharing with you some pictures of my collection. In one of the pictures, there is a pirate ship that was made out of hay by my grandfather. This is by far the most sentimental piece in my collection. Thank you for all the content and stay creative, kid. Warmest Dan. Now, Dan, thank you so much for sending this over. And I did notice a lot of really cool stuff. Is that in there? I think that is. What? It's made the, of hay? That's made of hay. That is crazy. So when I went through this, I tried not to read them as much. So that way I could just like quickly go through them, but also like react to this like for the first time with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I saw the Simpsons poster. I didn't even notice this. This thing is amazing here. Yes. I don't even know how that was possible, but that is Very so cool. cool. I'm Very a huge fan cool. of that there. Now, in the second photo that he put here as well, I don't know if you noticed this, Mom, um, but do you see it? I think you might see it. It is the one, I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is done oh, by Guy. Yeah, um, Guy Gilchrist. Gilchrist yes. um, who actually makes these. He is the comic artist for He's one of Jim the Henson, ones, yeah. or one of the ones yeah. that does it for yep. Jim Henson. Yep. Um, so he actually does it where he takes, almost like he signs them and then does art on the figures. So this one here is actually Kermit uh, playing mm. the banjo really, which i think is amazing really i've really actually talked to him his. before he's amazing and he yes. goes around to different different comic cons mm -hmm. and um sits at a table and all day people bring them yes. their pop boxes and, and then he, he does art on these them. beautiful art and he'll do art like pic pictures too he even he did it on, on a uh, ukulele, ukulele one time, one time i know really that was really cool yeah he's amazing i really hope one time we get to see him but yeah i wanted to point that one out just because that's so amazing i also yeah. noticed all of these soda figures you've got here that looks really great yeah they but just do. overall just such an amazing collection. he's got to chase some um, fred oh i also just noticed that homer figure there guys that is the kid robot one so that's him praying on a donut um and i thought that was really I funny he's he's meditating. meditating on a donut yeah. either way where it's do you funny. get those that's cute. uh that's like a kid that. robot figure so like that, that they make a lot of those ones they have a lot of simpson stuff they also yeah. do the mi mystery uh figures as well right. um they're kind of like stylized ones anyways i'm a huge fan of those ones i don't own any of them i don't think no i have one or that's two cute. 
Um, but yeah, it's really neat. Anyways, thank you so much for sending this in, Dan. All right, guys, so this last one here is coming in from Alejandro. If you guys don't know, Alejandro's my friend. Um, he wanted to show off his collection here because he showed it off last time, but this is a totally different section of his collection, and I wanted to go through these here today. And he did mention one thing to me, and you, you're going to give him heck for this one. His future trunks isn't there. Where is it? It broke, so it's not what? there. I know. He's just like, it's not there. I'm sorry. Like, it broke? Yeah, he said because it was one of those ones that floats with the base on the back. Uh -huh. So just like my Spider-Man one that I got, he said that it just snapped uh -huh. off. So it's he... really annoying that when it does happen... Uh, but anyways, this can right here is a huge section of Dragon Ball Z ones. Right. You can totally fix it. I think he's tried, he said. Um, Crazy. But I mean, I, th I think something could help. Cra uh, not Craggle. I almost said Craggle from the Lego movie. I was going to say Gorilla Glue would probably help. I'm mm -hmm. um, just a tiny dab of that. But it is an expensive bottle for one dab. Uh, but anyways, I also did notice he just got in his new Dragon Ball Z figure. That is the GameStop exclusive one. Um, but yeah, overall, just a really great collection, Alejandro. And I actually haven't seen this side before. So it looks pretty good. But that top box, Alejandro, it's crooked and it's bothering me. Well, it's because it's on top of the protector, I see. Oh, yeah. But that is Just the. But he's over. got the baseball switch and Goku it. Vegeta switch out. It. It's yeah, not like they're it. not in the box yeah, backwards. Switch it. And do something about the one that's missing. Yeah. Fix this is it. Just some tips. Just do some a little few bit. Tips, even, even if it's sideways, it's better than not there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much, Alejandro, for sending this in. Wait, hold on. Do you want to do the outro today? Sure. What do I have to say? You will. You haven't seen my videos before? I'll do it. What do you want to say? Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Try. I'm going to leave this part in. Try. <laughs> okay everyone that's gonna do it for today thanks to everyone for sending in your videos we really enjoyed it if you'd like to see more from us let us know in the comment section below but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed and again like she said thank you guys so much to everybody that sent this in and of course we couldn't put everybody's collection in no but we tried our best to put in as many as possible we get hundreds I know. I think it was something like 20 collections we put in. Anyways, we tried, we tried our best. We'll keep doing them. Yes. We're not done. Like I said, though, if you want to send in more, send them into tophopsvids at gmail.com um, because I want to do maybe one of these videos every month. I don't know how, that, how well it's going to go. I love them. Uh, but we do really enjoy checking out your collections and stuff we like do. that. It's so like anyways. we get to visit people at their house. It's like we're going in yeah, their house, Yeah, it's like right? we're coming into your house and un uninvited. Checking it exactly. out, right? Distancing. Um, yeah, social distancing ourselves while checking out your collection. Yes. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from both of us in the future, don't forget to like, come subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.